turning young adult novels into blockbuster movies is a trend we're still not sick of. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 young adult novels that should be adapted to film. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at books and series that fans would love to see made into movies. We're excluding any project that's already in an advanced stage of production, like Stargirl by Jerry Spinelli. Number 10. Gathering Blue – Lois Lowry Let's face it, a lot of us read The Giver when we were growing up, and a lot of us were extremely disappointed with its big-screen adaptation in 2014. But that's exactly why it's ripe for a do-over. And if The Giver is finally adapted well, it opens up the possibility of film versions of Lowry's entire Giver quartet. Gathering Blue has a similar tone to The Giver, taking place in a dystopian society hell-bent on perfection. If done right, this new franchise could expand the minds of young audiences everywhere, helping to underline the importance of accepting others and oneself. Number 9. Cinder – Marissa Meyer This 2012 sci-fi novel by Marissa Meyer is a futuristic retelling of the classic Cinderella story, with quite a few twists. The first book in the Lunar Chronicles follows Lynn Cinder, a cyborg and a top mechanic in New Beijing. Doesn't sound like the fairy tale you're used to, does it? New Beijing, yep. Um, the old Beijing having been destroyed in the Fourth World War. But there are princes and evil stepmothers and a big ball, of course. Most importantly, there's a heroine that you're definitely going to root for. This story fits in perfectly with two big trends, dystopian movies and modern reimaginings of classic fairy tales, making it a great candidate for a memorable film. And there are four follow-ups so far which could also make it to the screen. Number 8. A Porson, aka Old Kingdom series, Garth Nix. The Aporson series, known as the Old Kingdom series outside of North America, began in 1995 with the first novel Sabriel. This is high fantasy at its best, featuring a mystical world, dark villains, and magic that adhere to firm, set rules. It should appeal to the same audience who fell for the Harry Potter series. The Aporson books have come close to being given the big screen treatment several times over the years. But unfortunately, nothing has ever become concrete. Author Garth Nix says he's written the adapted screenplay for Sabriel, so fans can hold out hope that its magic will one day fill a movie theater. Number 7. Are You There God? It's Me, Margaret, Judy Bloom. Judy Bloom's coming of age classic has somehow never reached the big screen since it was published back in 1970. The book touches on issues that preteen girls face in every era, like getting your period and trying to make your breasts bigger. I must. I must. I must increase my butts. <laughs> as well as bigger issues like the question of religious identity. Very controversial when it first appeared, it still raises some hackles today, but would be accepted by contemporary audiences. It Parents is are getting cuckoo. Parents are getting really even more cuckoo than they were then. It may be tricky to adapt this novel because so much of it takes place inside the main character's head. But the successful 2012 adaptation of The Perks of Being a Wallflower proved that more cerebral teen movies can work too. I just need to know that people like you exist. Number 6. Delirium Trilogy – Lauren Oliver Set at the end of the 21st century, the Delirium series takes place in a dystopian future where love is considered a disease. And there is a way to cure it. Our minds stay intact, but our hearts can no longer be broken. If this story sounds familiar, it's because Lauren Oliver's series was actually developed into a series for Fox, but sadly it wasn't picked up. The pilot was, however, made available for viewing on Hulu for a short period of time. Now, however, you'd have to dig deep online in order to find it. It seems like this dystopian saga may have been a better fit for a Hunger Games-style movie trilogy than a TV show. Does that make any sense? Yeah. I just can't afford to think like that. Number 5. Graceling Series – Kristen Kishore The Graceling books feel like a perfect mix between the worlds of Divergent and Game of Thrones. Citizens in this fantasy world are set apart if they're born with special skills or graces. And the story has all the high fantasy elements that make Game of Thrones so popular with audiences. There was news back in 2013 that the Graceling series was being developed by Reliance Entertainment. But as of early 2017, there hasn't been any news of progress since then. It's possible that since the world was inundated with so many young adult fantasies around that time, the team decided to put this project on hold. Number 4. Eleanor and Park – Rainbow Rowell 
This quirky love story between two misfits set in the 1980s would make a perfect young adult romance film. Can you imagine how great the soundtrack would be? Sadly, the latest news as of 2016 is that the film rights have been returned to Rainbow Rowell after she spent a year and a half developing the screenplay with DreamWorks Entertainment. This doesn't mean that a movie will never happen, but it does mean that we'll likely have to wait a long time to see one. Fans of the author's work also have their fingers crossed for an adaptation of Rowell's Fangirl, another popular novel but with college-age characters. Number 3. Wicked Lovely Series – Melissa Marr this five-part series by Melissa Marr, short stories and manga notwithstanding, has had fans clamoring for a movie since the first book became a bestseller. In this magical story, the protagonist is a girl who can see evil fairies and is trying to avoid being sucked into the fairy realm. The author has even shared some of her dream casting choices. Mentioning Haley Steinfeld as her pick for main character Ash and Stephen R. McQueen of The Vampire Diaries for Keenan. My problem is that everyone thinks that I shouldn't have one. There have been a couple of planned adaptations for Wicked Lovely, but so far none have come to fruition. Number 2. Earthsea Series – Ursula K. Le Guin Started by Ursula K. Le Guin in the 1960s, this classic fantasy series about a world with no large continents has become part of the young adult canon. When the first book was published, however, young adult novels weren't the powerhouse industry they are today. In fact, the category of young adult barely even existed then. This series started with a short story called The World of Unbinding, which then developed into six full-length novels set in the world of Earthsea. The story has already been turned into a Japanese animated movie called Tales from Earthsea, as well as a 2004 TV miniseries. But fans would love to see this fantasy favorite get the live-action Hollywood treatment. You're scared. Try having visions that make no sense. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Looking for Alaska – John Green John Green is basically the Nicholas Sparks of the young adult world. He has an enormous fandom and online following, and some of his books have been turned into hit movies. You may have heard of a little movie called The Fault in Our Stars. Why are you looking at me like that? Because you're beautiful. Yeah, that's him. John Green's first novel is a boarding school story with as much charm and whimsy as his other books. It also generated complaints for its depiction of realistic teenage activities. Sadly, the film adaptation has been in a state of uncertainty for years. Green has expressed his frustrations with the process and says he's tried to buy back the film rights several times to no avail. They've tried to make a movie a bunch of times, but it's always fallen apart for one reason or another, and at this point, uh, I'm not involved in the project in any way. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.